Hey, this is Joe from Personas, and these are my top five keyboard shortcuts in Studio One, counting down to my most used ones. Number five, what I'm calling the SMR shortcut. So it's technically three, but they kind of all do the same thing. SMR. So this is totally random, but I grew up in Mississippi, and we used to have this little word puzzle. Can you figure out what that is? <laughs> it's MR Ducks. MR not. OSMR. CM Wangs, L I B M R Ducks. So, O S M R. We're talking about the S M and R portion of that. Sorry about that. I couldn't help myself. So that is when you are when you have a channel selected, you can press the letters M or S or R to toggle these three main buttons on the channel. M for mute, S for solo, R for record enable. It is super handy. I use it all the time. Mainly mute and solo because I spend more of my time, like once recording's done, I turn it off and I don't turn it back on very much. But when I'm coming in, I need to solo the drums. I'll come over here and hit S. It's just a little quicker than having to go f mouse my way over right over the S button. And it works, obviously, in both scenarios. If I'm here and I select this background vocal and press S, it automatically solos that. And when I toggle it back off, it goes back to its previous state. Love that. Number four has to do with the toolbar at the top of the window. You see how we've got all these different tools available to us? We can click on each one if we want, but I almost never click up here because I use a keyboard shortcut. So first of all, I click this, which links the arrow and the range tools. That means if I'm over, let's zoom into a piece of audio. If I'm in the bottom section of that audio and I click and drag, I'm actually selecting it and moving it. If I'm in the top half and I click and drag, I'm selecting a range like that. And if I'm at the very top on this one, I'm adjusting the automation, but that's that's neither here nor there. So I don't have to switch back and forth with tools to do that. However, I do occasionally need a third tool. And what the way that works is, first of all, I want that third tool to be this splitter tool or split tool. Now you can get there by pressing three and then pressing one gets you back over here. I don't like that, I'd rather have something a little simpler. So I actually, if you just press the one, the one right above the Q on the keyboard, you can see it toggles through, but it's like a, an underline almost, these other tools. That is the tool that comes up when you hold down Command. So right now, if I hold down Command down here, you'll see it turns into, uh, yeah, it turns into, <laughs> I almost thought I was wrong, turns into the splitter tool. If I switch it to this eraser tool, when I hold down command, it becomes the eraser tool. To me, the splitter tool is the most useful, so I toggle this over to where now, without having to click another shortcut other than holding down command, and my thumb is always sitting on the command button anyway, I can come in here and I can say, I want to split this, and all I do is just hold command, and now Anywhere I click inside of this region, is it's now going to split. So I can go ba-boink, 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 ba-boink. And I never had to change tools. I just had to hold down Command. Number three has to do with zooming and navigating the arranger. The slow way to zoom in is to click up here on this section right here, just below where the looper bar is, and just drag down. That will zoom in and zoom out horizontally for you. If you want to zoom in vertically, you can come down here and click on this little draggy thing and that will zoom vertically okay so right here or you can just select the size that you want from this pull down list I want them to be large and that will set them all to a preset um, height and then we can come in here we can zoom this way and we can scroll up and down to see them I don't love that uh, because it's too much clicking and finding a specific spot I'd rather use keyboard shortcuts so what I like to do is to scroll horizontally you can just use um, sorry, to scroll vertically, let's start there. I use that all the time. Hold down Command on the Mac, it's Control on the PC, and then just scroll up and down with your mouse wheel. So the way you scroll up and down like this, once I hold Command, it is now zooming vertically. So this does two things. It obviously makes all the tracks a lot taller, but it also um, makes them all the same height. So you may know that you can come over here on the side and resize a specific track, but after doing that a few times, things start to get a little out of control. So as soon as you start to scroll, they're all kind of back to being the same height. Now, what if you want to scroll or zoom horizontally? How do you do that? Well, we're already holding down Command. Let's just hold down Shift, and then we can scroll up and down, and you'll see it does this. It zooms horizontally, and if I let go of Shift and just hold down Command, now I'm zooming vertically. I use this all the time. Actually, to, to be completely fair, for my horizontal scrolling, I just pinch 
with the mouse. This is the uh, the trackpad. Uh, if you don't have that, then holding down Command and Shift will get that for you. And also, if you don't have the ability to scroll sideways, which I can do with two fingers on the trackpad, if you hold down Shift and scroll, it scrolls left and right for you. So to review, Command scroll zooms up and down. Command Shift scroll zooms left and right. And Shift scroll navigates left and right. They're zooming and they're scrolling. There's a lot of words there, but I use these all the time. Number two is a little obvious, but I use it all the time. It's the F keys. In case you didn't know, to get to your mixer, you can press F3. That will toggle the mixer up and down. F2 toggles the edit window, which I don't use a lot. But F3, F4, which toggles the inspector over here on the side, which is handy for a lot of things we might want to find. And then F7 opens up my plug-in window. So these all just toggle. My fingers just know where they are to where I don't even have to look down. A lot of, well, maybe I do. <laughs> F3 I can get to pretty easily. F7 sometimes I have to look down. Um, but I use these all the time. Get yourself used to these because it makes your life a lot easier than having to come down here and click this every time you want to open the mixer. And finally, number one, I've actually, you've probably seen me use this already in this video. I didn't talk about it. But when you're super zoomed in and you're focusing on something like this specific piece of audio and you want to zoom back out, well, what do you do? Well, you can do the reverse of what I showed you with zooming, where you zoom out this way, then you zoom out this way, then you're like, oh, it's too far, and then you're like back and forth. Super annoying. I did that for years until Gregor showed me there's a keyboard shortcut that zooms out for you. And I'll show you, by the way, in case you didn't know, come up to your menu, go to keyboard shortcuts, and you'll see here, you can find any keyboard shortcut you want. So if you come here and just search for zoom, you'll see there's a lot of different options for zooming. The one I love is zoom overview. Now, I don't remember if it is assigned to something. I don't think it is. So the way you assign something, if there's no keyboard command assigned, you come over here, you select zoom overview. You come over here, you just click in this enter key button. I press Z, click assign. And now whenever I press Z, it's going to do the zoom overview feature. Don't forget to click apply at the bottom. So what happens, what that means is it's basically a macro that does the zooming out horizontally and vertically for us based on what's in the session. So when I'm super zoomed in and I'm thinking, okay, I'm good, I can just press Z, bam. And it zooms all the way out to show me everything in the session. How much faster is that than the whole zoom, 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 zoom thing. All right, so those are my top five keyboard shortcuts. What are yours? Share them in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.